All right. Let's welcome tonight's guests. He's so shocking, his jokes give you static cling. Anthony Cumia, host of the Anthony Cumia Show. She's so adorable, kittens purses coffee mugs with pictures of her on them. Carrie Keegan, host of Bravo After Hours. And she's got a great new book called Everybody Curses, I Swear. The air freshener in his car is an actual pine tree. <laughs> TNA wrestler and Fox News contributor Tyrus. And even when she's walking on sunshine, she complains about burned feet. National Review reporter and Fox News contributor Catherine Timpf. All right, Anthony. Greg. My favorite part of this whole scandal or non scandal is that you keep get, getting to say the word dossier. Yeah, yeah. It's like an old spy movie. <laughs> exactly. But a little wetter. Yes. And what, <laughs> <laughs> what would you call this movie if it were a Bond film? Oh, my God. The, um, the spy who came in from the... Um... Bathroom? Yes. Very good. Thank you. Whew, I was hanging out there. I know. I thought you might say golden eye. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, that's a good one, too. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Carrie. I, I have to say that I think that uh, President-elect Trump's um, explanations for dismissing this were so sound. The fact that he said he's a germaphobe and that there are uh, there are cameras in every room. I thought that was smart because it made sense, right? What? <laughs> sure. Yes. Yes. That's my defense every time. <laughs> yes. You guys have seen those leaked tapes, right? Yes. It's scary what they can find on you now. Yeah. What do you make of these developments? I, I, it's all fascinating. Mm -hmm. This whole thing is really fun to watch it. It's, like every time he opens his mouth, it's just it gets more and more interesting. Yes. I'm, I think it's going to be a really fun four years. I think it really is. Or sorry, eight years. <laughs> because there's no way after after. After Tyrus, after just one year of this, we're going to say this is the greatest thing ever. It's going to be 16 years, probably. <laughs> and wow, somebody has something on Donald Trump. I have something on Donald Trump. Everybody in here has got something on Donald Trump. And he says the same thing every time. Kiss my ass. He don't care. He don't, what else you got? He probably threw the sheet back at the FBI. That's it? That's all you got? <laughs> All right, Kat, would you have, if you were running BuzzFeed, would you have run this dossier because it was being passed around, everybody could see it, uh, the reporters and politicians see it, would that have been an excuse? No. No? Uh, but people had seen it. Even, don't publish something if while you're publishing it, you're saying, there are serious, uh, serious, serious reasons to doubt that this is actually true. <laughs> they thought it was funny, but it doesn't really matter. Even if it were true, I still don't think people would care that much. Right. Because when Trump was running, the people who opposed him were saying, he's Hitler. Yeah. So when people are concerned about you being Hitler, you liking to watch people really isn't that bad. <laughs> I think it's interesting when you have people applaud over something like that. <laughs> Anthony, okay. Yeah. You know what I love yeah. about the BuzzFeed thing is the transparency excuse. We ran this to be transparent. No, they ran it because it was interesting. It's like when we, d we did the Anthony Weiner story, we didn't do it because it was about politics. Right. We did it because it, it, it was... We wanted to say Weiner on TV as much as possible. <laughs> exactly. It's exactly. A, it's a titillating story. It's yeah. interesting. It's wacky. It's like an urban legend. You want them to be true. Yes. Everyone wants this to be true, but... Let's be no. real. Come I'm on. I'm okay with yeah. it not being true. I'm cool too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah but you know, it's no. like the Richard Gere story that everybody right. heard, but there's no documentation of it, at least that you can find. Because I've been oh, gerbil right. testimony. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be a hearing next week yes. on that. <laughs> But there are so many flaws in this. The, thing, the one thing that blows my mind is in this dossier, they talked about a Michael Cohen, I guess, meeting with Russians or something in Prague. And they didn't stop to think, okay, they go, that's Trump's lawyer, Michael Cohen. No, there's probably 100,000 Michael Cohens in the world. My lawyer, I, doctor, and accountant <laughs> are all Michael Cohen. <laughs> There is a little bit of hypocrisy here we have to point out, that even though BuzzFeed is trafficking in this rumor and innuendo, so did Trump. I mean, let's be honest, yeah. National Enquirer was on his side the entire time publishing weird, weird stuff about But that Hillary. was all true. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, and also, I mean, he did the birtherism and stuff like that. So what's good for the goose is good for the gander. However, um, I still think it's hilarious. Yes. So. It will go down as hilarious. It will go down <laughs> as history. hilarious. By the way, um, uh, do we have time for... Uh, 
let's show um, uh, just to welcome uh, Ms. Keegan to the show. I think this is the first oh, time you've been oh, on our no. show, right? Don't don't pinpoint me now. No, I'm scared. No, 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 no. <laughs> I think we have. Uh, it's the first time I've been here since you have an audience. I know. Is that exciting? It's really cool. You guys are awesome. <laughs> and on that note. You compliment our show, I shall compliment your recent appearance on The Apprentice. Oh, no. Carrie, you terminated. Now, get to the chopper. <laughs> wait, 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 I'm sorry. I'm no, sorry. That is sorry. the strangest thing to say. Wait a minute, get wait a minute, to the wait chopper. Wait what is this, this, like that scene, wood chipper for the wait scene from Fargo? <laughs> that's, the, that's the catchphrase? Yes, yeah, get to, to the, the chopper. Get to the chopper. I love the, but also, I love their faces now. They're just all, everybody's like this. It's almost like you got the death penalty. Well, the two of them were crying in the scene before. I was the only one like, oh my God, you this won. is happening. You know why you won? Everybody on The Apprentice got paid the same, but you work for two days. They are still working. And it's the worst <laughs> catchphrase. <laughs> yes. It's from the movie. It's, but it's the one movie, Commando? All the catchphrases? What do you yeah. want him to say? Your clothes, Commando? give them to me now. Is that because that movie's not in circulation anymore? He You're did terminated? try Hasta La Vista. He did do um, uh, You Won't Be Back. Yes. He did a lot of Ooh, different ones. He doesn't have the same writer yeah. anymore. Well, Clearly. His hair, is, his hair is not looking good either. Get to the chopper. <laughs> Like, yeah, that's going to go far. All right, we got to move on. Coming up, a week of confirmation hearings. And what have we learned? I learned that when he's wearing his glasses, Jeff Sessions looks a lot like Ben Franklin. Yeah.